big array of all those little eclipses happening on the ground below you. Yeah, actually, I think we have a picture of that. I'd love to see that because really it is yes. a very, yeah, perfect. Oh, yeah. That's Steve. Oh, yeah. Well, then we've got our eclipse board for another look at the path of totality. Uh, and that's around the sun that we're about to get once uh, we reach totality. Yeah, and it looks like, uh, it's, it does look like there's already a shadow over land, you know. We also have a shot, and we'd like to pull that up now, a shot of, the also have rockets on the other side of the country being launched, so again, study that. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at that, that's the time, that's 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 the time I'm in frame. <laughs> You're not there, but I feel the energy just launching it. Uh, yeah, so this is the becomes the craters and the peaks and valleys of the moon. Uh, we're seeing the last bits that are just getting through, and now we're getting to totality. Uh, this is great. So you're starting to see those pink fingers um, out there kind of sticking out. Wow, so again, totality here in Mazatlan, Mexico, the first community in North America to experience the moon completely eclipsing the sun. And if you are in Mazatlan right now, it is now safe to remove your eclipse. Explain why space weather is important to us here on Earth. Definitely. So it's not just satellites that we, that uh, are are interested in space weather. It's also our power grids because of those energetic particles coming.